To use the report wizard, go to Settings and then select Reports. From here we can select New and then select Report Wizard. Now on this page, I'm just going to select Next and then I'm going to name this report and I'm going to call it Goal Status Report. Now the primary record type is the record we will be reporting against, so I'm going to go and select Goals. Now the related record type is optional, however it's useful if you want to pull in additional information from a record such as Notes, however I'm just going to leave it and select Next. Now by default this page will automatically assume a particular filter. However, it is not locked in place and can be changed accordingly, so you do have the option to add and remove as many fields as you want. However, I'm going to leave the filter as it is, and the only thing I'll change is the view. And I'm going to make the view for all goals, and then I will select Next. Moving on, you are limited to this report structure, however, you are able to move things around. So up at the top, you're able to group your information, and you can group up to three and have a minimum of one. And within each grouping, you can decide what information you want to display. So to begin, I will click on the first grouping, and I will change the column to Goal Metric. And then I will select OK. For the second grouping, I will select Target Money, and for the last grouping, I will select Goal Owner. And by selecting Count as my summary type, it will count how many goal owners there are versus displaying the names of the goal owners. Now I can select the first column. And for this, I'll select Status. For the second column, I'm going to select Actual Money. And since it's a monetary value, I'm going to change the summary type to Sum. And then for the last column, I'm going to select Parent Goal. And now that I've selected everything I require, I can use the arrows to the right to change the order of the groupings and columns. And then I'm going to select Next once I'm happy with the layout. Then for the report format, I'm going to select Chart and Table and then select Next. And for the chart type, I'm going to keep it as vertical bar chart. So this is where we can decide what information we want to display on our X and Y axis. So for the X axis, we can see that there are three options. However, I'm just going to keep it as goal owner. Then for the Y axis, we can see that I only have the option to select sum of actual. And then I'm going to select next. So I'm going to click next and then select finish. So now that the report is complete, I'm going to run the report, and we have two options to do that. So we can either close this file here and then reopen the goal status report in the report entity, or on the top of this form, we can select run report. Once it's loaded, we will be able to see the goal status report results for the chart, and we can see the goal owner on the x-axis and the sum of actual on the y-axis. And then by going to the top and shifting through the second and third page, we can see the results of the table. And that is how to use the report wizard.